Hey, hey, how many of you have heard the phrase, I fail more often than I succeed? It's a common phrase that a lot of successful people use and that I believe is a quote from Michael Jordan, you know, one of the greatest basketball players of all time. So why is that? And why are we diving into that conversation tonight? It's because I want to help you build more confidence. It's part of my No Regrets Lifestyle Guide and program that I'm building out. And it's one of the key foundational steps that you're going to need to take in order to basically hop in any adventure you see fit and live a well-balanced, maintainable, healthy lifestyle. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Brian Edwards. I am the founder of Fit for Adventure Coaching. Uh, based around my No Regrets Lifestyle Guide to help you, like I just said, live a well-balanced, maintainable, healthy lifestyle, which is something I think a lot of you out there, not think, I know a lot of you out there want to be living, but don't know how to go about it. So what builds confidence? There's three main things we're going to dive into tonight and discuss to help you really identify where you may be stealing some confidence from yourself and how to build more of it so that you get away from the activities, phrases, wording, and thought process that's stealing it from you. So let's dive right in. First confidence stealer is something I actually just discussed with one of my clients yesterday. Negative self-talk. How many of you have referred to something about your body, something maybe about your hair, face, um, physique, skill level in a negative way? We've all done it, including myself. So I don't want you to think that there's people out there that don't do it because we've all done it at some point. You know, ah, I look like shit today. My hair is a mess. Ah, oh, my thighs are looking so fat today. I don't like the way my ass looks. It's fat. It's ugly. Oh, my beer gut is hanging over. I can't even see my toes. Just all these things that bring yourself down. I'm too old to do that activity. I can't do that. I'm going to get hurt. A lot of can'ts, a lot of just negative talk that brings you down. And when you even hear it, does that sound anything like you want to be talking? Probably not. Wouldn't you want to flip that script, flip that mindset so that you're hearing more positive things and building yourself up and building others up as well? That's the key there. I've taught this to a lot of my clients and I've helped them identify it. So when, like my client the other day, they'll use, for example, I'm not going to share their name because I don't have the permission to um, <clears throat> share that with you currently. But yeah, the comment was, can we work on my fat thighs today? Can we work on my fat ass? Can we do some leg work to get rid of my fat thighs? About 30 seconds, this person referred to their legs and ass as fat about four or five times. And I had to say to this person, hold on. Do you hear yourself? Let's flip that script. How about today? Can we work on getting my thighs a little leaner? Can we work on getting my ass a little stronger so that you can bounce a quarter off of it? <laughs> Have some fun with it. Now, one of the books I'm reading right now, Jay Shetty's Think Like a Monk, put a name to this and really helped me identify it even more so. And it's spot, stop, swap. So you want to acknowledge the negative thought that you're about to verbalize. So I'm not telling you don't have the negative thoughts. They're going to creep in, but you've got to spot them. You got to identify them and you got to acknowledge them. Then you got to stop yourself from verbalizing it. Because when you put that out there, you're hearing it, you're picturing it. And it's getting drilled into your head as well as other people's. 
You don't want that negativity out there in the universe, especially not about yourself. So you got to stop it before you verbalize and then take a second and swap it out for that positive. So really acknowledge it, you know, spot it, stop verbalizing it, and then swap it out for something positive. That's a great way to start building confidence within yourself that exudes out to other people. You know, I want to work on leaning my thighs. I want to work on flattening my stomach more so than it already is. I want to work on strengthening myself so I can do 10 push-ups, 10 pull-ups, run a 5K, whatever it is. Get away from the negative self-talk. That is a huge way right off the bat you can build confidence. Second one, you've got to stop letting one bad experience ruin every other experience for you. Now, what do I mean by that? <clears throat> you may have said this yourself, but I guarantee that you've heard someone else say it. <sighs> yeah, oh, I, I tried that diet plan. It doesn't work. I tried doing that with my business. It didn't work. Oh, don't say this to your boss. They'll yell at you. He, he or she's a jerk. You know what that's from? That's from a person trying one nutritional program for a week, not seeing the scale move and then saying no diet or no nutrition plan works. That's from one person starting a business or trying to start a business, not seeing the income they wanted within a week or two, and then saying it doesn't work. That's from one person wanting a promotion, wanting that raise, wanting to experience more with their job, being said no to, and then saying, oh, this person's a jerk. It doesn't work. Why do it? If you heard no and stopped anything else you've ever done, you'd get nowhere in life. Right? So stop letting one bad experience ruin all experiences for you. I know people have gone skiing got for the first time and then got hurt and never went again. I also know people that went skiing or snowboarding, got hurt, and were back in a couple of weeks because they weren't going to let that one experience stop them. You can either let that one bad experience drive you to build your confidence and do it again and again and again until you get it, or... You can let it do the opposite and steal the confidence because you had one bad experience. And I know what you're saying. Some of you may have experienced multiple back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back bad experiences in a certain area. That just means you haven't found the right experience yet or right person to help coach you on it in order to get where you want to go. Keep pushing. Keep building that confidence. Third confidence stealer is... Oh, this one bugs me. It's constant inaction. If you've heard some of my other talks on taking con consistent action, consistent inaction steals not only confidence, but it steals motivation. It's a double whammy on this one. And what I mean by that is it goes to back to that I fail more times than I succeed. It's that trying that gets you the confidence you need. For those of you who don't know me or follow me just yet, which by the way, if you don't, make sure you like the page, click follow, Fit for Adventure Coaching. Cheap pop, sorry, WWE fan. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I was also on the show American Ninja Warrior. And I've been asked so often, how did you know you could do that stuff? Now, for me, my well-balanced, maintainable, healthy, active lifestyle is a little crazier than others. And I know that, but that's mine. That's what well-balanced, maintainable looks like for me. I've always kept myself in a physical condition where I could hop in just about any activity on a moment's notice. I've been climbing since before the age of one. I escaped not only my crib before age one, but I also climbed over that little fence thing that blocks the staircase yeah so 
for me, some of that stuff I've built up over the years, just being a kid and just trying and trying again and getting up and trying again. But when I don't know something, I ask for help. And I also surround myself with a bunch of people that if they see what I did wrong, they help correct me, coach me on the right way to do it, show me the technique, and then I try and try and try again until I get it. And that's that's the key there. When you don't take that consistent action on trying, there's no way you could build the confidence, right? If you keep going at it, what happens every time you fail? You get a little bit closer, you get more confident. You get a little bit closer, you build more confidence. You get a little bit closer, now you're at the point where you're so close, you know you can get it, you're confident you can get it, and then you do. So when you build that confidence up through consistent action, your confidence has nowhere else to go but up. When you take consistent inaction, that's when the confidence goes down. That's when the belief in yourself goes down. That's when you see no results. You see the opposite. It steals all the confidence from you. That goes with business, too. The more no's you get, the more things you try, and the more questions you ask, when you reach out for help, find a business coach, find a mentor, find that person that's going to show you the correct way to do it, your confidence builds a lot faster. Your skill set builds a lot faster. So physically, you're getting stronger. Mentally, you're getting stronger. And financially, that bank account is getting stronger. And you're in a lot better place, especially if you're doing the things you love and want to be doing. That's key. So those three, again, you've got to stop the negative self-talk. Spot it, stop it, swap it. Get that positive self-talk going. Don't let one bad experience ruin all experiences for you. Keep going after it until you find the right experience, the right person to possibly help you enjoy that experience more. And then the third, consistent action is guaranteed to help build your confidence. Those are the three things. That's what everyone that goes through my No Regrets Lifestyle Guide learns, builds, and improves upon. So what's stopping you from building the confidence you want? Please feel free to share in the comments below. I'd love to hear you know, hear, I'd love to know and hear where you're struggling so that we can have a discussion to help get you past that point. And if you need help, by the way, with taking consistent action and just starting it, in the description, I posted a link to a group that I'm going to be helping create consistent action. The link's in the description. Click on that. Go check it out. If you have any questions on that, let me know as well. Otherwise, post your questions in the comments, and let's get you the confidence that you want to have in life. Have a great night. <laughs>